All right. So, Stanislavski is big on, I'm going to say two things in his, in his passage on creative work with the actor. And those two things is the circumstances and objectives. So, whereas it contrasts with the, the methods of Danchenko's method of directing, where he focuses on the direct, the direct, different director faces and intuition. The thing about the director, it, in similarity between the two, is that they, they play a lot of roles. Right? They can be, they're in essence a very dynamic, a very dynamic actor and organizer. Stanislavski, comparing to Stanislavski says, the actor does not withdraw from him or herself. If done so, kills the role. And in this, this is, this, in this similarity, um, between both passages, they they come into uh, a certain understanding because the mood comes from the actor, but they want to emphasize of not letting go of of themselves. So that therefore, don't don't let go of yourself. Therefore, don't let go of the mood. The mood is. The actors, the mood is the mood is yours, the act, the actors, and so let it flow from the role. He says, Vladimir Danchenko says, our demands on the actor are that he should not act anything. Decidedly, not a thing neither feelings, nor moods, nor situations, nor words, nor styles, nor images. They, Stanislavski and Danchenko, have this underlying factor of playing actions and within play within the given circumstances. So play towards an objective. And once you accomplish that the objective within the scene, you're on to the next scene. And then on to the next scene. But keeping the, the idea of the super objective to drive you from beginning to end. So in terms of circumstances and objective, that's where they come, circumstances and objective, and then but with from Stanislavski and Danchenko's uh, faces and intuition, um, they con they, they contrast in terms of where Danchenko emphasizes a lot on intuition, and where whereas intuition is is a major factor in determining truth and falsehood. So he, the director. He says the, direct, the director perceives the script where it is true and where it is false, possibly causing a dispute and proving um, the director right and the author wrong. Thank you, and that is actually the end of my compare and contrast between Konstantin Stanislavski and Vladimir Danchenko. I hope you enjoyed it.